Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. If you love budget-friendly DIYs but want the look of high-end home decor, today's video will be perfect. We're gonna show you how you can turn really simple Dollar Tree items into high-end, beautiful Valentine's decor. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which project's your favorite. When we were walking around Dollar Tree, I found these really cool baking molds. They come in like this bigger size, which is a softer silicone, and then this smaller size, which is a lot harder silicone. I have personally never used these for any type of craft, so I was super excited. I decided to grab both, and we're going to be using them for two different projects. For both of them, we're going to be using this product called Planty Patch. We got it from Lowe's. We have been refinishing our fireplace in our house and we kind of put this over it and I've been wanting to craft with it ever since. You're supposed to use a 3 to 1 ratio for this but I kind of just did it where I thought it would be pretty smooth and not be too chunky and also would pour out of this bowl. I made two of the bigger ones and then I did fill all of the smaller ones. This all came out extremely easy. You didn't need to spray it or anything. They came out perfectly. I was nervous that the cement would stick, but it didn't. I really, really like how the larger ones came out. With the softer silicone, it almost gave it like this polished look. For our next project, I'm going to be grabbing one of these bowls from Dollar Tree and we're going to go ahead and spray paint this. So the first color I'm doing is gold on the inside. Once that is completely dried, we can move on to the outside and I'm going to be using a matte black spray paint for the outside. And that's really all there is to it. It's a super simple DIY, but I think would look absolutely beautiful in a modern home design. Now we're going to move on to the smaller hearts. So for this, I did over pour it slightly, so I did have to sand them down just a little bit. Then I grabbed this garden dish from Dollar Tree and we're going to be painting that and then putting these hearts at the bottom as kind of the stand. I was trying to go for a really light pink so I added this pink to white. It ended up not being the pink that I like so later on I do use a different pink that I got and of course I added baking soda just to give it some texture. I absolutely love the texture that the baking soda gives, but I didn't love the pink, so I am using a little bit darker pink. I decided to use six of the hearts. Next time I probably would only use five. I feel like maybe six was a little bit too many. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I spaced them just evenly and then just hot glue them on. They fit perfectly, they didn't come off, and the hot glue is great. I would not recommend E6000, I think it's just not necessary.
For this project, you'll need one of these bowls and then one of these wood planks. Both of these you can find at Dollar Tree. And the first thing that we're gonna do is trace around the wood here so that we can cut out a piece to fit in the bottom half of this bowl. Next, I'm gonna spray paint the bowl using this matte white spray paint from Krylon. For the wood piece, I went ahead and sanded that nicely, and then we're gonna add a stain using the espresso stain from Minwax. Next, I'll attach the wood piece, adding some hot glue on each side. Since this won't weigh a lot, I'm just gonna add a command strip on the back and I'm actually cutting this one in half so I can save some for another project. And then we'll attach that on the back so that we can easily hang that. Next, you can add your favorite flowers or greenery and that's really it. A beautiful piece for Valentine's Day that only costs a few dollars using Dollar Tree items. When I saw these bath sponges in Dollar Tree, I thought it would be so cool to use them as like a stamp. So we got the love and the heart. I only ended up using the heart. The love, you would have to use it on the back side only or else it would be backwards. And I felt like it would look just a little bit too messy. So then I used just this foam board from Dollar Tree and cut it at six inches. I tried to be all like perfect and get it exactly in the middle and so I put lines on the heart to try and get it in the middle but that didn't end up working at all. So the second time I just measured an inch from the top all the way across the board and drew a line and then just lined up the top of the heart to that. I started with this red and you do see that it is like splotchy. I do go in with the paintbrush and just fill in those areas. I wanted to go for like an ombre look so all I do is add a tiny bit of white to the red and then it gets a little bit lighter and then the next heart I add a little bit more white until it is this very light pink color. After each heart, I do go in with just a small brush and just fill in those little gaps. Then I just want to make sure that both of the sides are even, so it was a little over an inch for me. And then I'm going to use my very scientific way of measuring and just put it on there and draw a line where the foam board ends. You can stain these wood pieces if you want. I decided to leave mine natural. I would love some stain suggestions in the comments. I kind of want to branch out and do some other colors. I got these wood pieces just from Lowe's over in like the trim area.
Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more stunning Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure to click through right here and you can check out a playlist of a lot of other crafts. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.